In 2067, crop blights and dust storms threaten humanity's survival. Cooper, a widowed engineer and former NASA pilot turned farmer, lives with his father-in-law, Donald, his 15-year-old son, Tom, and 10-year-old daughter, Murphy Murph. After a dust storm, patterns inexplicably appear in the dust covering Murphy's bedroom, which she thinks is the work of a ghost. Cooper deduces the patterns were caused by gravity variations, and they represent geographic coordinates in binary code. Cooper follows the coordinates to a secret NASA facility headed by Professor John Brand. There he learns that 48 years earlier, unknown beings placed a wormhole near Saturn, opening a path to a distant galaxy with 12 potentially habitable worlds located near a supermassive black hole named Gargantua. Twelve volunteers traveled through the wormhole to survey the planets and three, Dr. Mann, Laura Miller, and Wolf Edmonds, reported positive results. Professor Brand reveals two plans to ensure humanity's survival. Plan A involves developing an anti-gravitational propulsion theory to propel settlements into space, while Plan B involves launching the Endurance spacecraft carrying 5,000 frozen human embryos to settle a habitable planet. Cooper is recruited to pilot the Endurance. Before leaving, Cooper gives a distraught Murphy his wristwatch to compare their relative time for when he returns. After traversing the wormhole, Dr. Romilly studies the black hole while Cooper, Dr. Doyle, and Dr. Amelia Brand descend in a landing craft to investigate Miller's planet, an ocean world covered in water. They find wreckage of Miller's ship before Doyle is killed by a gigantic wave. Cooper and Brand return to endurance and find, due to Gargantua's proximity, time is severely dilated. Twenty-three years have elapsed for Romilly and for those on Earth. Cooper decides to use their remaining fuel to reach man's planet, where they revive him from cryostasis. Meanwhile, Murphy, now a scientist working with NASA, transmits a message announcing Professor Brand has died. She has learned that Plan A, which required unattainable data from within a black hole, was never viable. Murphy accuses Brand and Cooper of knowing that those left on Earth were doomed. Cooper subsequently declares that he will be returning to Earth, while Brand and Romilly will remain on man's planet for permanent habitation. While Mann and Cooper explore the planet, Mann reveals that the planet is uninhabitable, he had sent falsified data to be rescued and attempts to kill Cooper. He then takes a lander and heads for endurance. Romilly is killed by a booby trap left by Mann. Brand and Cooper chase Mann in another lander before he dies during a failed docking operation, severely damaging endurance. After a difficult docking maneuver, Cooper regains control. With insufficient fuel to reach Edmund's planet, they use a slingshot maneuver so close to Gargantua that time dilation adds another 51 years. In the process, Cooper and Robot Tars jettison themselves to shed weight and propel endurance to ensure it reaches Edmund's planet. Slipping through the event horizon of Gargantua, they eject from their respective craft and find themselves inside a massive four-dimensional structure called the Tesseract, which is located far from the singularity. Across different time periods, Cooper sees through the bookcases of Murph's old room, weakly interacting with its gravity and realizing that he was Murphy's ghost. Speculating that the Tesseract was constructed by humanity's far future descendants who can provide access to infinite time and space, but cannot communicate through it themselves, Cooper realizes they have been brought there to relay information critical to humanity's survival to Murph. Cooper uses gravitational waves to encode NASA's coordinates in the dust patterns in Murphy's room, before manipulating the second hand of Murph's wristwatch, using Morse code to transmit data collected by TARS from within Gargantua. On Earth, Murphy realizes the ghost is her father and deciphers the Morse code. Ejected from the Tesseract, Cooper is picked up and awakens on a space habitat orbiting Saturn, where he reunites with an elderly Murphy. Using the quantum data sent by Cooper, 
The younger Murphy successfully solved the gravitational theory for Plan A, enabling humanity's mass exodus and transformation into an advanced spacefaring civilization. Nearing death and with her own family, Murphy urges Cooper to return to Brand. Cooper and Tars take a spacecraft to fly to Edmund's planet, where Brand, having discovered and buried the deceased Edmunds, has begun to build a base for Plan B. See you later thanks for like and the subscription.